Hey, Daily Creatives. Welcome back to Day 37 of our Daily Creative Practice. And today, we are going to be adding a bird to our art. I know there's a joke out there. My daughter was telling me about it this morning about the TV show Portlandia and it was about art and artists and someone gave the advice just add a bird and your art will sell. So I think that's fun and I think that's what we're going to do today. Just add a bird. So let's get down to business and see what we're going to do. This picture, sorry it didn't print very well. Um, my printer ran out of ink about right there, or some part of ink about right there. But anyway, you get the idea. So I wanted to add this little fella into my um, scrapbook. Not scrapbook. Into my sketchbook today. So I thought it would be fun to start using up some of these wonderful old scrapbook papers. I told you that I bought a whole mess. I mean, tons and tons and tons of paper at an estate sale about a year ago, and I have not been using it. So this year is about using and reusing and getting in my stash and starting to clear it out. So this is a big step toward that. So this little fella, isn't that cute? So this is what we're going to do today. And I'm going to show you some very cool things here. So the first thing I did was get out my light box. And I just traced this little bird. I just traced, first I traced the outline. And then I traced just the outline of the feathers and the branch he was sitting on. And that's how I am going to move this forward, hopefully. And this page was done with gesso, and then I just put some blue, sky-like blue paint on there very loosely. It's not at all covered everywhere. But anyway, let me show you what to do. The first thing I did was find a piece of paper to use for the background. And this was the background paper. Let me get that right up here so you see. This was the background paper for this little guy. And I thought this one might be nice. And what you need to do is put it, put your little piece of scrapbook paper, and this one should be cardstock if you've got it. Paper will work, but cardstock is much, much better for this one. And go ahead and clamp that down on a couple of sides so that it doesn't move while you're cutting. Trust me, that is no fun whatsoever. So that's the first thing you do is just cut out the outline of the little bird in your scrapbook paper. And then the next thing to do is the not so fun part, but it can be meditative and relaxing. Um, I'm not the best cutter or fussy cutter in the world, but we have to cut out all these little feathers. And let me show you my little method and madness. This has repositional, repositionable glue on it. So these are all my little bits and pieces. It's kind of like a puzzle, but I keep them all on a card so that I can use them and reuse them again and again. And you also want to keep the outline pieces, and I'll show you why as we move on down the road with this little project. So, I didn't think you'd want to watch me cut out all these little pieces and glue them, and I think you're capable of doing that. Just make your little template, cut your pieces out, glue them onto your bird, and then we're going to do some more fun stuff with it. So, before I put him down, I want to draw some of, I want to draw the branch on, and let me show you how I do that. I love charcoal pencils, so the best and easiest way to do that is to just get a charcoal pencil, a really soft one, and kind of 
scrape over your edges. You can do this with pastels. You can do it with, you can do it with just a graphite pencil, actually. Let me make sure I've got all my spots here. And let me do it on this one also. Get in the right spot. Okay. So that is going to become our little piece of um, tracing paper. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. So I'm just going to come in here. Place this down. That's why it was best to save this piece of paper. And there you go. There's the outline transferred for that. If you use a really good charcoal pencil, that works beautifully. Place that on there. And you can draw his feet if you like. His little claws. Anyway, you get the idea there. I'm just going to extend this out. To go off the page. Okay, well, I think we're good. So, let me go ahead and I may I may just bring this branch on over here and let that be part of the two-page spread. Cool beans. So, oh, I wanted to show you this one part. This is great. Well, my repositionable isn't working too well. I must have left it down too long. Anyway, I put this over, I, I hole punched his dark part of his eye out with a big hole punch, very easy. And I used that to stencil on his little eyeball. And I just kind of freehanded his beak there. You could certainly go ahead and cut out little pieces for this, cut out little pieces for the top and do the whole thing. I kind of left this because I like it. Um, I like this paper. But we will, I will show you how to get in there and play with those in a minute. So let me use this. He's kind of like this. Kind of have his beak up in the air, doesn't he? All right, I think that's pretty darn close to what we need. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that down with my. Fabrifix because it's a little stronger and this is kind of it's a little bit heavy. here but that's okay and charcoal this charcoal pencil that I love is by generals but there are other ones that I really like that are also they can be called graphite or charcoal either one works this one is by Conti and this one is by can't read it all surface graphite so those are some, and this is one of my very, very faves, is my Prismacolor White Charcoal. Oh, how many times has that come in? Very, very handy for me. And that might just put a little glint in our guy's eye. Maybe I will do that. But I want to show you what we're going to do with this graphite because it is really cool. 
I am going to come in and I am going to accentuate all of these little feathers because they look pretty good right now but they're going to look even better when they have some of this going on. him come off the page love it love it love it so I am going to come in here with what am I going to do with this I don't know I kind of like the graphic nature of just the branch in charcoal just the outlines of the branch and the bird standing there beautifully I'm gonna come in here and go ahead and do his little claws, I think. I am going to get some white paint and accent that eye. I just want to make that eye pop. So I'm going to get just the end of a paintbrush and stick it right into some white paint and come in and just very gently tap that eye but I think we're doing pretty well today and continue that define it and refine it <laughs> um, as much as you like and once you are happy and satisfied with the look and feel of it here is my tip and trick for saving some money you seal it with this hairspray love this love the unscented take it outside and spray it but that has always worked for me you can certainly buy some fixative what's called artist fixative or varnishes anything like that that you use for pastels to set them and fix them but this is my hack this is my trick it's worked for me for some 20 years to set charcoal and things like that. This is really making me happy. I think I'm going to add some words on there. some roundness to this branch just very loosely and kind of fuzzy those up too with my fingers think that's pretty darn cool and to oops I forgot to tell you I am going to give you this printable so you don't have to find your own bird or draw your own bird I am going to give him to you it will be on um, Facebook I will put it on the Creativa page on Facebook I will give you the link to that and then you can draw your own bird to look just like mine. Again, get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. This is Rebecca. May joy be with you all.